right, boys, make those lines fast. It's the last load. Get those crates ashore. miles. You were supposed to deliver them at the inlet. I know, mister, but I can't sail the Apache Rose on a mud flat. Well, you're lucky to sail that thing at all. That's very funny. While you're laughing at your jokes, I'll unload your equipment. That won't do any good. I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to get a well started. Oh, so you're Mr. Coast Drilling Company, huh? That's right, Roy Rogers. I put the order in for that equipment. And I'm giving the orders on this tub. Unload them, boys. Wait a minute. I told you I don't want this stuff unloaded here. Get that hook off and put that big crate back on. We've got to get it down to the end. Yeah, but she said... Listen, mister, I give the orders here. Get off my tub. Ah! Ah! Oh, you clumsy jawhead, you pushed me. Well, you did it yourself. Here, let me give you a hand. Not on your life, you... Billy! Uh, Billy, what is the matter? Huh? This big knothead here thinks I'm going to haul his crates up and down the coast on a pleasure cruise. Look what he did to me, Carlos. That must be a sight. Roy! Well, sure glad to see you. Uncle, what are you doing here, you old horse thief? <laughs> horse thief? Well, Roy's just joking. Weren't you, Roy? Well, I... I'll have you to know I got my old job back again. Farming on the Rancho Vega. I hear they were starting up again. You two know each other? <laughs> Not officially. Carlos, how about saying howdy to Roy Rogers? Howdy. How are you? What was all the arguments about these crates? Well, I'm drilling a test well back on the Mesa. They were supposed to deliver this equipment at the inlet. It's pretty heavy, and I have no way of getting it back there. If he can get it there, he'll sure strike oil. Roy's one of the best wildcatters in the business. It seems to me he's a very good friend of yours. Sure is. He used to punch cows for me in Texas before he started to punch holes in the ground. <laughs> Maybe we can help you. I don't see why not. I think we can get that equipment in for you. Alkali, take some of the men and go get one of the big wagons. Well, thanks, Carlos. I can sure use the help. The rest of my crew haven't arrived yet. That's all right, Roy. Just save us four or 5,000 barrels when that well comes in. Rogers, I want to talk to you. We have a little matter to settle. Yeah? Yeah. Get your money out. All these shipments are COD. Well, that's all right with me. That's all right. Roy pays off like a slot machine. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. There's your money. There's your receipt. Come on, Roy, let's go get the wagon. Well, that's a fine thing. You lend him your wagon, you let him use your road, and you give him your men. But he did nothing to me. Well, he did to me. Carlos, I don't know. That's the trouble with you. You're too friendly with strangers. But you are still a stranger, unless uh, you have changed your mind. You mean about giving up this tug? I like it. My father liked it. I guess it runs in the family. But you would like it better at the rancho. You would have the hacienda and your own servants and... Oh, Carlos, you're not going to propose to me again, are you? What? You have never said no. I haven't said yes, either. Carlos, how can I take you seriously? All those escapades and not forgetting that weakness for gambling, either. I don't like it. Really, I have given that up. Honest. Want to make a bet? Why, sure, anything. See what I mean? Uh, you are always kidding me. Of the hoofs and the creak of leather, hear the squeaking of the wheels turning miles together. Hear the crack of whip and shout and call. Cause we're on the trail again. Oh, ride the carol ride. Hands on my side. Heading for the horizon wide. Sing the song. Check 
left you alone. What you looking at, Roy? About the best looking oil land I ever saw. Don't do you no good. We're on the Rancho Vega property. Well, where does that trail lead to? Down by the ocean. If there is oil around here, it might show up on the other side of those rocks. Well, I wouldn't go down there, Roy. Why not? There's caves down there. Nobody never goes near them. They're haunted. Strange things happen. Folks have gone down wandering around and, and just plum disappeared. Well, I'll take a look anyway. Silver bullets ready for those ghosts, cause we're going in. Feel that air coming out. It's cold. It's just like a graveyard. Roy, wait a minute, Roy. My knees are a little shaky. I feel another one of my spells coming on. Come on, Apple. I, you never have one of those spells until the going gets tough. Oh, Roy. Wait a minute, Roy. You ain't got sense not to be scared. I'm going to come along. Roy and Alkali just came into the game. Smart rustlers used to keep their stolen cattle. Well, you're smart. Sure I am. Hey, wait a minute. I wasn't one of them. I used to hunt for them. Bandits like Joaquin Murrieta. Well, that's interesting. Murrieta's been dead 87 years. Well, I wasn't talking about him. I was talking about his son, Joaquin Jr. He was worse bad than his old man. Never heard of oh, him. Oh, boy, let's get out of here. He was killed right here in this cave. Oh, come now. Uncle. It's the living truth. I hope his ghost comes back to haunt me. Look. on the ground. Walking Junior with the flashlight, huh? All right, it wasn't Joaquin. Somebody hunting for buried treasure. There must be another way out of here. Oil. Oil? There's your buried treasure. Oh. <laughs> that must have been testing equipment those fellows were carrying. Come on.
Get him now. We better go back and see Carlos. Roy, I guess you're right. When you quit the cattle business, that wildcat nose of yours can sure smell out oil. Those three fellows just left here in such a hurry seem to like it too. I wonder if I'm drilling in the wrong place. Black gold, that's what it is. Roy, we hit a fortune. Yes, but for your friend Carlos. Yeah, I suppose we have to tell him about it. You said it was his land, didn't you? Yeah, of course. You're going to get technical. Maybe I can make the deal with Carlos before those three live ghosts get to him. We ran into some men down there and they started shooting at us. But they got away in a car. They weren't your men, were they? No, I have no reason to send my men down there. We have always known the oil was in the case. You have? Oh, See? you think you have discovered something bigger? Ever since I was so high, we was used that oil formation. It's one of the best oil formations I ever saw. I'm surprised you hadn't tried to develop it. I could not have done so, even if I would want to. You see, the land title has just been cleared through the courts. I only have half interest. The other half belongs to my cousin Rosa. Well, think of all that money. Oil wells springing up like mushrooms. You just ain't gonna let that oil sit there, is you? Easy, Alkali. Rogers, you know what a gamble it is. You would have to borrow money on the ranch to start the drilling. And then take a chance on losing it. Well, it wouldn't be much of a gamble. Well, we will leave it up to Rosa. She is coming tomorrow for Mexico. I will talk with her. She may change her mind, but I don't think so. I'll see you later, Carlos. I have a little oil business of my own to take care of. And thanks again for the use of your wagon. See. How do you like that? A notion of oil in his backyard. Bless me for a horn swoggled idiot. I never should have told him. I'm surprised you did. What you looking at? There is something strange about that face. What's the matter with my face? If I could only remember. Now don't touch yourself, Felicity. Just relax. Roy! That face, that voice, that blank stare. He must have done something. Oh, I got no time to remember. Meet me in town tomorrow. I'll introduce you to Rosa. Kind of casual like. We got a fortune right in our hands. We don't want to lose it. Okay, I'll be there. and wait for us. Senor Carlos, make yourself sit down, please. We have enchiladas, frijoles, tamales, chili peppers, tortillas. Enchiladas, frijoles, chili peppers, tortillas? I'll take ham and eggs. Si, senor. Nothing. Hello, Carlos. Oh, hello, Calhoun. Take a walk, will you? I'll just sit down. How can I? Give us a couple of minutes. Sure. I'll be around if you need me. Who is that, your bodyguard? I did not know I need one. Well, maybe you don't. We'll let that pass. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. About $147,000. I will. I will pay you back. I had a good offer for the oil rights at the ranch. Well, that's fine. I was getting a bit worried. I hadn't seen you out at the gambling ship lately. You think you'll sell the oil rights? As far as I am concerned. But I have a partner, my cousin Rosa. I might have a little trouble convincing her. She has some silly sentimental idea that oil daddies will destroy the ranch. Well, Carlos, that's your problem. But I want that uh, bill straightened out. I don't like overdue accounts. You will get your money. We always do. 
Carlos. What did Reed Calhoun want? Oh, oh, just drumming up a little business for his gambling ship. Oh, Carlos, you promised. You'll never make any money that way. It'd be a lot easier if it was just Carlos who owned that ranch. You ought to be a mind reader. You know, I know just a fellow who'll tell Rosa's fortune for a few bucks. Hi, Billy. Hello, Alkali. Perdone, Miss Senorita. Oh, hello, Senor. What about that orchestra you are going to bring on your boat? Oh, they're here. Good. Are you sure they are Mexicanos like I ordered? Why, of course, Senor. The best I can find. Bring them on so I can overlook them. <laughs> All right. Will you excuse me a minute, Carlos? Alkali. You all set, boys? Just about, but I don't think we're going to fool anybody. We don't even speak Spanish. Well, what are you worrying about? You want a job, don't you? Oh, we'll fool them. I even got the accent already. See? Shh. Now, let me check you. Yeah, that's it. This is the orchestra. Como les va, muchachos? Uh, play, boys. I know savage English, too many so good. But I maybe could tell you so you'll understood. But a gay caballero down Mexico way. Named, uh, what you call him? Oh, Jose. His reputation, she's good and she's bad. He's a real killer, killer, and he can be had, so they say. Don Jose, with a twist of his wrist and the blink from his eyes, all the sweet senoritas are making the size every day. Poor Jose, he's a rooted to toot, toot, and root, and suit, and shoot, and caballero. And the way he makes love, oh my God, is above, it's a shame. Jose, he's having his right, way. Right. My colleague, he's knocking them silly with pieces and stuff. He's not Me, Pat, the pioneers. So they say, Jose. Down Mexico way, he really grips his reputation. It's good. Don Jose With a twist of his wrist and a blink from his eyes Oh, sweet senoritas are making the sign Every day For Jose He's a rooted to toot, scoot, and root and toot and shoot and cobble yellow And the way he makes love, oh my God, is above, it's a shame Went over big, huh? So good. Are they hired? Do you want to talk money? I'll talk. Mexican singers. <laughs> so you give me the double legs, eh? No, senor. You are fired. No. Why, you can't fire us. Yeah. You haven't even hired it. That's right. Then I hired you. You will. Well, 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 well. How about that? Now you are fired. Double X, sir. Hiya, fellas. What in the world are you doing here? Oh, oh hello, Roy. Roy. I haven't seen you since you sold that rodeo you didn't own. Oh, now, wait a minute. How about doing some real work for the Coast Drilling Company? All right. All right. Yeah. What are they doing, sponsoring a radio program? Yeah. I said work. I need some roustabouts for the oil field. Well, sure, Roy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Right. You don't mind, do you? Why should I? 
You better get out of those duds, fellas. Senor Carlos, I have big surprise for you. Rosa. Carlos! <laughs> I would not have known you. Papa, I changed so much. Of course you have changed. I have not seen you since you were all of 15 years old. You were not so much older yourself. <laughs> Hello. Rosa, I want you to meet Miss Colby, Billy. I almost said my fiance. <laughs> we haven't agreed on that yet. I am very happy to meet you. Thank you. And this is Alkali, my foreman. Hello. Howdy. Alkali, will you get the carriage? Right. Coming up. Ain't she pretty, Roy? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had a good look at her yet. Stick around. I'll introduce you in a minute. <laughs> Right. You can see Rosa now. Has anyone been up there? No one has talked with her or seen her except the doctor, Billy, and myself. But the doctor says she will be all right. Oh, sure, she'll be all right so long as she doesn't mind a bullet hole in her right arm. I suppose you're going to hold Rogers, eh? What charge would I hold him on? If I want him, he'll be up there at his oil well. I would not be too sure about that. I'll be responsible for him, but I won't for Rosa. If you take my advice, you'll send her away somewhere until I find out more about this. Carlos, I think you're wrong about Roy. That may be so. But, Billy, there is no longer a mystery about this. Somebody is after that oil. Yeah, they certainly are. I think it's a good idea to send Rosa away, eh? Carlos. There's one way to find out who's behind this. You're going ahead with that welcome home party for Rosa. But how? The doctor will not let her leave the room. But nobody else knows that. You're giving that party and we're going to make them think I'm Rosa. Billy, no, you wouldn't, dear. I will not let you. And besides... You don't think I'd let a little thing like this stop me, do you? Carlos, you have just become my cousin. Here she is, senor. This way, Miss Vega. Where is Carlos? He's watching us. Oh. Oh, I am sorry. Thank you. Thank you, senorita. Senorita Vega, we're waiting for her. But you're late, senor. Senorita left a few minutes ago. What is that? She is gone in another carriage, senor. I helped carry her suitcase. She gave me this money. Did you notice which way they go? She goes that way, to the Vega Rancho. Vamonos, muchachos. Told me to take this road. Better help the backup man. Sure, Roy. Hey, Carlos. It's awful, Roy. I need help. They got Rosa. Rosa? Climb on your horses, boy. Thank you. 
they come, boss. close call. You must be getting used to it. Oh, well, see, si, senor. You boys better ride back with her to the rancho and make sure she gets there safely. I'll go back and pick up that driver. with her, Felicity. She's had a bad scare. We found her, Carlos. She's all right. Ooh. Somebody hold these horses. Carlos. Rosa. Billy, what happened to you? Like a dummy, I got into the wrong carriage. I'm glad it was me instead of Rosa, though. I am so glad that you are here. I can hardly control myself. Oh, cousin. My little Rosa, after all these years, Felicia, do you remember Felicia, eh? Huh? Oh, see, si. Felicia, my dear duena. <laughs> my old Rosa back from the dead. <laughs> oh, stop it before you make us all bust out crying. Uh, we haven't been introduced to the senorita yet. No, 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 no I I can meet her. Time. She is all upset. So many things have happened oh, today. Yeah, 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 yeah,
might have some connection, but uh, this doesn't prove anything. I'm afraid you made a mistake bringing Rose out here. Well, it was the plan to find out who was trying to kill her. We were going ahead with the welcome, the homecoming party, just as if nothing had happened. It's pretty dangerous business. I hope you know what you're doing. I promise you, she will be well guarded from now on. You'd better turn that over to the sheriff. We'll wait for him out on the road. He might be able to identify the body. Senor? Senor Rogers? Oh, como que usted sabe mi nombre? In language, senor. I may be practice. I just wanted to know how you knew my name. Oh, that's right. Carlos, Carlos, my cousin, told me. I want to thank you, senor, for saving me from those guys. I mean, those hombres, Oh, well, that's all right. You will come maybe to the party they give for me, no? I think that's a good idea. And you will bring your friends too, no? Sure, I'll even have them play for the party. Thank you. Gracias. Adios, cowboy. Adios, senorita. Now, ain't that sweet. Boy, that Roger sure works fast. See you at the party, Carlos. You care, Carlos has dropped plenty of money out here. Particularly I owe you. But I'll get it back. Sure, you'll get it back. When you get the rancho. Don't forget, you wouldn't have known anything about that oil if I hadn't have told you. Well, I wouldn't say that, Pete. Always remember that somebody might be listening. So think before you talk. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Fix him up with anything he wants. Pete. Yes? I heard something about a homecoming party for Rosa tomorrow. What about it? Well, I thought you might like to earn a little extra gambling money. $2,000. You're not giving that kind of money away for nothing. That's right, Pete. Now you're getting smarter. Charlie, set him up over here. At the wishing well, there is magic, they say. For the poets tell how each dream comes your way. Make a wish at the wishing well. Have a street of gold or a cottage for two. Be the sweet or bold, any dream will come true. Make a at the wishing well The door to fortune is open To whatever you may aspire Just drop a coin And watch the ripples They'll bring back your heart's desire at the wishing well, any beggar is king, wrapped up in a dream. Akali, what was you wishing for? Oh, I was wishing for the old days. When you were so young, beautiful, well. and so slender. Why don't I keep my big mouth shut? Ese ando undu si amor El día que llegué a amarme Entonces ya he feliz Lo que pidas tú, eso se te dará Lo que sueñes tú, se te concederá And you 
at the wishing well. Ah! That was fine, senor. It was very good, senor. Senor Roy, that was charming. Thanks, I did it especially for you. Noria de los de Sales. I beg your pardon? Noria de los de Sales. Wishing well. Oh, see. Well, that is one way to say it. Uh, Senorita. Senor Roy, look, look at the dancer. Huh? But the feet, they do not forget. No, no, no. Not now. Later, finish it later. Well. Is your arm feeling better? Oh, it is still very painful. Almost so I can hardly move it. I tried to get Carlos to send you back to Mexico before somebody took another shot at you. And you worry about me? Mm -hmm. It isn't very safe here. Me, I'm afraid of nothing. You look for somebody? I wonder where Billy is. Billy? Yeah, the girl that runs the tugboat. The one that Carlos wants to marry. Oh, she should be here, shouldn't she? Maybe she and Carlos have a little argument. In your Roy. You think this girl, Billy, make my cousin Carlos a good wife, hmm? He can have her. You do not seem to approve of her. She's all right if you like her type. What's the matter with her type? Well, if you must know, she's too hard to get along with. Snooty. Nose in the air all the time. And that hair of hers is just about the color of Trigger's tail. Well, of all the crummy insults. I mean it, you Americano say. Senorita. What is it? You better let me in. Why? Because I have your hair. You're pretty smart, aren't you? I think you'd better tell me what the masquerade was for. Well, if you must know, I was only trying to help Carlos. 
We ought to find out who took a shot at Rosa. That's fine, making a clay pigeon out of yourself. Oh, come now. Hey, you! What you sneaking around up there for? Oh, keeping my eyes open in case of trouble, just like Carlos told me. Come on down here and keep your eyes open. This where the work is. Okay. You see that? Even he could have taken a shot at you. Pete! Oh, don't be silly. Pete or anybody. You can't trust any of them. There's a million dollar oil field at stake and they're not gonna let anything stop them. Maybe I'd better get out of this. You better keep it on. If you want to help Carlos and Rosa keep them from being killed, you put that wig back on and do as I say. Rogers, I will kill you for this. Now hold on, Carlos. Let's find out about this. Who did it, Roy? I did. Roy? Well, you know you didn't. Why? What did you kill her for? She caught me looking for the geologist report, telling how much oil there is on the land. We'll take care of him in our own way. Wait, hold it. Give me the guns. Lock him up in the wine cellar until we find out what has happened. Don't you worry, Roy. You'll get a fair trial. I'll go get the sheriff. Sheriff? Well. You better lock him up, too. He's as guilty as I am. Sure, I'm as guilty as he is. You too, Alkali? Me? What am I saying? Lock him up also. Carlos. Take him away. Don't touch me. Huh. Feel I got another spell coming on. Huh. Huh. Shut that door. Lock it quick. Now, suppose you do a little explaining. Carlos, this was for your own good. I can explain everything, please. Hmm. This 1911 went a little sour. Now, let's see, we have a little, uh... Uh... This 1895 really went bad. Still feel a little rocky, huh? Oh, sure, is it? It's no use, Alkali. The door's locked. It was kind of a mean trick pulling in on this murder charge, but you were going to tell the sheriff, and I didn't want him to know about it. At least not now, anyway. Besides, if I didn't have you along, I'd be down here talking to myself. All right, Roy. I guess I am a little stubborn. But there I was sticking up for you, saying you didn't kill her. I didn't. Oh, what'd you confess for? She isn't dead. I just wanted to make it look that way, so we could trap the real killers. If they think she's dead, we might be able to find out who they are and what their next move is. Roy, are you sure you didn't kill Rosa? Senor Roger is telling me truth. I'm very much alive. You can hear for yourself. Hurry up, Skipper. Get that hatch open. Oh, what do you think I'm trying to do? Play mumble pig? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, here are the guns. I am sorry I had to take them away, but I had to make it seem real. Thanks, Carlos. Any new developments? No. She had better not go until it gets dark. Shh. Get over there. Well, there's no guard here. Yeah, but there may be one inside. We'll do just like we planned. Batter down the door, take them by surprise, and remember, we go on the count of three.
And when it got dark, I followed Roy and Alkali to a cave down by the beach. We gotta get smart about this. There's one little detail missing. Nobody seems to have notified the sheriff. That's right. But everybody was excited. I know. Always give the other fellow credit, Pete. Rogers might have an angle. Now look, you go tell the sheriff what happened and ride out there with him. And when you're sure what's happened to Rosa, come back here at the usual time. Right. about the goings on at the Vega Rancho? Me? I don't know anything about it. We've been looking for Rogers in the caves. He's wanted for murder. Murder? Yes, murder. Around here? Listen, you'd have heard me scream plenty. Any guy that'll push a girl in the water is liable to do anything. He's a dangerous man. I can see it in his eyes. Shows you never can tell. He didn't seem like a man who would shoot down a woman in cold blood. Isn't that awful? Hey, you sure eat a lot. Oh, me, yeah. I, I have an awful appetite. I guess it's this ocean air. Sheriff, how was she murdered? Where was she shot? That's what I'm going to find out. I'm going up there now and have a look at the body. Body? Listen, Sheriff, why don't you stop by Roy's oil well? He may be hiding out around there. It isn't much out of your way, and it won't take you much longer. He's dangerous. He's a killer. I wouldn't let him be at large. That's a good idea. Come on, Pete. Yeah. Pete must be one of the men we're after. That's a good joke on the sheriff. Riding all the way up there, and he ain't gonna find the body. <laughs> Roy, I think we'd better follow Pete. We'll follow him, but after he finds the body. But Roy, I just said... Alkali, we... we've got to beat the sheriff to the hacienda. We'll see you later, Billy. Yeah.
remember what I told you. Si, senor. Hurry. Yes? Sheriff Mason. Yes. Who's that? My poor little Rosa. You were right, Pete. Let's take a look. Yeah. No, 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 not you. You go do your work. Come on, the bag more. Just a minute, Sheriff. I want to talk to you. And I want to talk to you. Well, I guess that clears you, Rogers. But I don't see why you didn't handle all this through my office. That's easy. We didn't know who we could trust. What? I have a good mind to run you in for a remark I mean, like I mean. That. Roy, we have a spell. Senor Roy! Senor Roy! Senor Roy, I was watching like you tell me that Pete was right towards town. You see, Sheriff, we'd better pick him up and question him. Yeah. Tell me to meet him tonight at the usual time. Wait. Let's see what he's doing. See you later. Oh, don't forget, save me a seat on that 8 o'clock boat, will you? 8 o'clock. I'd sure like to know who he's going to meet on that boat. We'll follow him and find out. Uh-uh. That ship's on the high seas. That's out of my jurisdiction. Well, it isn't out of mine. We'll trail him for you if you want to trust us. Well, in this case, I guess I'll have to. Good. Alkali, round up the pioneers and meet him at the caves tonight. I'll keep an eye on him until then. Sure, Roy. Already. Good. It's time we're getting out to the gambling ship. I'm ready. If we're not back in an hour, boys, you know what to do. You bet. Yeah. I'll bet you move. Check the truck. All right, boys, cast off. Aye, aye, skipper. Roy! Hey, Roy, starboard! Port to starboard! Step on the emergency! 
emergency. Stop it. Maybe just a coincidence. But let's go in. I'll get you in. I'll show you how I did it for Dewey in the Battle of Manila. Fifty years ago, huh? I got the Navy young. Light about my age. Got it. IOU signed by Carlos Vega. Twenty thousand dollars. Four thousand. Fifteen thousand five hundred. It all ties up, Alkali. They let him run up a gambling debt so they could force him to sell that oil land. Yeah, but only rules that wouldn't sell. some good news. Good. Come on into the office. Somebody better watch that referee. Come on, let's get out of here.
We were too late, boss. All right, get him out. No, not you. Okay, boys, outside. Come on, back to your tables. Back to work. Yeah, you sure messed this up. Well, gentlemen, there's $147,000 worth of IOUs missing. That means we pay a little visit to Carlos. I can't go back to that ranch now. When do I get the rest of my money? Don't worry, Pete. You'll get it. I told you they were playing for keeps. Poor Pete. Poor us. Sure could have used him as a witness. Well, there's nothing on him. I've been trying to get something on that recaloon for a long time so I could clean up that gambling boat. But he'll probably wiggle out of this one, too. He talks fast, and he's got a smart lawyer. I wasn't going to mention these, Sheriff. I was going to give them back to Carlos. But since it turned out the way it did, maybe you can use them against Calhoun. They're IOUs. Why, that matinee caballero almost getting Rosa and me killed over a gambling debt. I wouldn't blame Carlos too much. They went after him deliberately and framed it so he'd lose. It's the oil on Carlos's land, Sheriff. They're trying to get him to sell the rights to it. So Carlos has been holding out on us. We'd better talk to him. I think it's a pretty good idea. Hey, wait a minute. Who's going to watch this body? That'll be your job, Billy. Me? You'd better stay out of this. There might be some shooting. think you're going to take over this ranch for $147,000. You got me all wrong, Carlos. I don't want the ranch. I just want the oil right. The oil right? Then you are the one who has been trying to kill Rosa. Jose, get the sheriff. <laughs> sheriff won't do you any good where you're going, Carlos. So that's the way it is. Well, we'll stretch him out a little bit and see if we can change your mind. Put him in a car. <laughs>
with me. Help me hold them off until they get the boats in the water. Take him with you. We'll cover you. I think it is my arm, Sheriff. Well, we'd better look at it, see if we can't fix you up. I am going to need it. Rosa and I are going to the old bit this week. Send your Rogers. Carlos, it is too bad you lost her. She would have been a beautiful bride. Bride? Bride? That is it. That is what I've been trying to remember. You promised to come back and marry me 25 years ago. Did I? But you are my alkali. You are my alkali. Sweetheart, I will still make a lovely bride. That's done it. I feel my last spell coming on. 